guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry here. I'm reading this fantastic book and decided to make a quick tutorial about um, component, components that I'm making right now. Um, I think a lot of the nuts could be made with wire too. You just need to um, pre anneal your wire so your wire will be more pliable to do it so you can maneuver your wires. And I want to show you today True Lover's Knot. You just need two pieces of wire. It's um, not complicated at all. The secret is even with the thick gauge wire, you have to pre anneal your wire. So in here is a little component I will show you today and we'll make it right now. So it could be something that can you can use it for your bracelet that's could be if you use thinner wire could be a component for your earrings it's just the message here is amazing it's uh um it's just something that can be um can resonate with a lot of people i will use copper you can use sterling silver i always encourage to try with a copper first and then uh, work with more expensive materials if you wanted to. So pre anneal your wire. I would use 18 gauge and also 16 gauge for my project. And these few beads, they all drill nicely for my 18 gauge. Um, that's all. So let's start. So I, um, for those, maybe later we will go through the book again, because it's not that hard when you see how it's done. So curve your wire here, and we wanted to use it to make it like a pretzel almost. So you curve it, and it can go in one the only thing, I, like I said, it's need to be pre-annealed because you don't want to be rough on your hands. I like, it will be nice, like my nuts, I start, started from one corner and it will be nice to um, have it some room. See, even with the pre-annealing, it's pretty tough. So you can see that's like first knot here. It's like a pretzel almost, right? Just use your pliers, make it sit nice. That's the first one. And now we will do another one. So we have to sit this wire straight, curve it. Go inside in your um, so this wire straight go inside here then it has to go under our wire and then inside in this and out and we have another pretzel. If you look, you can see there's like a, almost like it's another pretzel. Do you see it? And all it's need now, just straightening. You put your pliers, hug the wire stronger, like squish, and make sure you make them equal. See how it's like you can play with that a little bit more, make it more smaller. I think it's pretty nice. Okay. Now we have two of them here. Looks interesting, right? Now we need 18 gauge. I will quickly cut a piece of 18 gauge. That's my 18 gauge. And we'll go, let's see if you go to this one. 
So this one will be probably because I didn't leave enough room. Let's see how that will sit. Uh, I will want to have it in the middle of the project. Uh, I think I still can do it. Okay. So what I did is I made it sit in a half, like on the project. You know, if you have long longer, um, this will be better. Because for some reason I made not here is very long. <laughs> There's not enough of wires, but that's the problem with the gauge. So, but what thing is, so you want to hold this, and then this leg. I go around first around my uh, base wire here, and all this probably it's perfectly enough because it's just I needed to make it little circle here perfect and then with this wire you go on the other side you you just have to hold this nicely and go around when they join like a join here you just cut and push it by a nicely okay now I move to the other side see that's ideally will be if this not could be perfectly in the middle I didn't have enough of, of room there so but it's okay so I can go here from this side we have two legs right so one goes here and go around go around and then this go here and go around okay doesn't look perfect in the middle this i did better job <laughs> see how is that this is the same wire i just squeeze it more here but if you let's see if i can push it a little bit now this uh one side a little bit maybe not let's see if i can hammer a little how that will look See, I hammer a little bit and when you put in a little bit of sulfur and make this not sitting how it's like polish it a little bit later you just play with that you know I think the message here is amazing so before you hammer before you do anything you decide like I said just make sure you have longer a little bit wire but it's still, it's beautiful knot. Guys, you can make a lot of beautiful pieces with that. I was just so fascinated. It's easy. Um, just heat your wire and have fun with, to make amazing knots. Something that can be meaningful for people. You can do it with a thin wire, thinner, make it earrings maybe. You can do pendants, bracelets, stuff like that. I hope you guys will love to play with this knot, make something amazing, and let me know in the comments. I was so excited, so I thought, I know it's not my regular day, I know that, but I thought I will just pop here and just show what I made. Thank you guys for watching, see you next Tuesday with the new tutorials. Okay, bye-bye.